back for final part. I'm very sad to say I'm Stanford Chidge, uh, and this is the Chelsea Football Fancast. And it has been a re- good laugh tonight. I've enjoyed every minute of it, actually. Yeah. It's been fun, isn't it? Uh, lovely to see everybody here. Now, uh, this particular bit of the show, um, we do a little bit of Chelsea Chatter Stats, which is coming up in a minute, and then we have a roundup of all the news, and then we jog the on. Uh, towards the end of the show. But first of all, uh, I have to welcome back a man who I miss like a long lost brother last week, the man with the statiest stats in Statdom. He is Chelsea Chadder, and he goes something like this. <laughs> Chatter, chatter, chatter. Yes. What did you just say, Jonathan? That was very think, funny. Yes, it's Chelsea Chatter sitting in the benches. <laughs> he is. He's looking very lovely tonight he's in a very, very nice pair of... And it's 1927. I think his spectacles look very 1926. His spectacles are very 1932, perhaps. Would you like to read us... Would you like to read us <laughs> some statistics? Because I'm getting shouted at in the gallery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start with uh, one stat that you forgot to ask about, which one was beyond. from the uh, McHale vote on oh, the website. And um, just to say that... Uh, the question was, do you rate John Obi McKell? Yes. And 67% have said yes. Whoa. How many said no, then? Uh, obviously, it's going to be 33%. Oh, obviously. Nice. Easy for you to say. Can we have a round of applause for all the sensible people out there who are voting yes to John Obi McKell? Right, your stats coming up now. OK, mate. So, uh, Chelsea have now scored over 50 Premier League goals this season. Frank Lampard became the first person to play 100 Champions League games for the Blues. <coughs> Fernando Torres is now Chelsea's third highest goal scorer in Europe, Whoa. joined with Peter Osgood. Wow. Uh, only Didier Drogba and Frank Lampard have scored more. Pablo loves that stat. He's laughing. John oh, Terry nice. has made 500 domestic appearances for the Blues. Eden Hazard and Oscar have now played. Sorry, I need to stop you there, Chad. I thought that, that said John Terry has made 500 domestic appliances for the Blues. Uh, That's not yeah. what it says. That's what I thought it said. OK. But anyway, Eden Hazard and Oscar have now made 100 appearances for Chelsea. Uh, There's a little bit of an Andre Scherler love fest here because he uh, <coughs> has now scored six goals in his last four Premier League starts. He's the 65th person to score a hat-trick for Chelsea and the first and only person to do that against Fulham. And he's also the first <coughs> German to score a Premier League hat-trick since Freddy Bobic in 2002. The last three Premier League hat-tricks have all been scored by Chelsea players. And finally, uh, my stat of the week is this. That despite Andre Schürrle scoring a 16-minute hat-trick, it's not the fastest in Chelsea's history. That honour goes to Gordon Drury, who knitted a, uh, knitted, who netted a 12-minute hat-trick against Reading back in 1987. Yeah, good old jukebox. What wonderful, wonderful statage, Chad. I loved all of that. They were brilliant. Um, now, if you want more Chelsea Chatter stats and history, you can go to www.chelseachatter.com and follow him, as many, many do, on at Chelsea Chatter. Very quickly, Chad, you yep. can also buy these wonderful player analyses, Cam, can't you? You've got the John Obi McKell one there. Yep. Come back to Chad for a quick flash of his stats. If you see what I mean. Yeah, here you they, go. They are like a score report. But like t- school report, yeah. You can buy them for only a pound on your, on your website. Yeah, on my website, only a pound. Any person that's ever played for Chelsea, a comprehensive stats report on my website. Are yeah. OK, right. Uh, we've got a bit of Chelsea news coming up after this thing. This is the news, the Chelsea news, as I like to see it. Now, first up, uh, Chelsea Sport Trust end of season party, hands off. Uh, on the 9th of May, uh, with the legends that are Mickey, uh, Mickey Thomas and Joey Jones, uh, it's at the Black Bull, uh, and uh, it's the 30th anniversary of when Chelsea, the boys in blue in Division 2, went up to Division 1. Uh, now, tickets are available uh, for £20 for Chelsea Supporters Trust members. If you want a ticket, Email events at chelsea supporters trust.com and do it quick. 
events at ChelseaSupportersTrust.com is the email address for that. Now, fabulous player, Mickey Thomas. Wasn't he? Fabulous. I love him. Mickey's been on the show in the past, has he? Yeah, he's a lovely bloke. I was um, in a Man United game when we drew Never let him give you a tenner, though, all right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> right. Now, shush, concentrate. We haven't got a lot of time in this part, and there's lots to get through. Last few weeks, we've been plugging this fantastic thing, which is a maxi charger, which, if you stick it onto your iPhone, will make it last a lot longer than it normally does. And I mean a lot longer. It's beautiful. And we've been running a competition to win it. There you go. If you want to know more about it, go to maxicharge.co.uk or follow them on Twitter at MaxiCharger. But we have been running a competition and uh, lots of people have entered in. I'm going to give this a quick... This is going to be like the FA Cup draw, all right? So no, no he screw Heated balls. They're not heated balls, <laughs> well, but they are down there, but not in the bag. Uh, who would like to draw? Who would like to take responsibility? It's, it's a Rabina okay. moment. Will you pick one of these out and just make sure it's one? OK. <laughs> drum roll, drum roll. Just one. Look at the activity with my hand there. They're all very excited. <laughs> Hurry up, <laughs> not all day. Look at that. Just I'm pull it out. Sure. Pull it out, Jonathan. Roll. I've got a long one here. Now, I'm right, right. Oh, so go on then. Read it out. Kevin. Clements! Kevin Clements is the winner of Maxi Charger! Loving that! Um, I will sort out that, uh, Kevin, and get them to send you said uh, Maxi Charger. So thank you for entering that. Blimey, it's all go tonight! Campo Retro! Um, I do believe that the little competition that we had for the Campo Retro, the Larry Grayson Retro Chelsea shirt, perhaps we should say, uh, has been won. We have a winner, and the winner is a lovely, lovely person called Carl Lachon. So uh, Campo Retro will be getting a, uh, a retro Chelsea shirt of your choice out to you soon, mate. Anyway, thanks for entering that. Now, this week, the promotion from Campo Retro is 20% off for all viewers and listeners. And there's a code which you enter when you go to their website, which is camporetro.com. And the code is CFC20. And you simply need to enter that at the checkout when you buy your product and you get 20% off any item that you are buying. So that's fantastic. I encourage you all to do that. Very, very quickly, we're nearly there. Safe standing survey for Chelsea supporters. This is from Ross, otherwise you'll get very cross with me if I yeah. don't plug this. Do it if you haven't already. Do it if you haven't already. It's the most important thing the Chelsea Sports Trust has ever done. But more importantly than that, it is done with the entire, you know, the most important websites, blog, uh, blogs that are out there, fan cars, podcasts, fanzines, you name it. We've all got together. There's about 20 of us got together to get it out to you so that you out there can fill in a safe standing survey to show your support for the idea of safe standing. This is very, very important. I've done it. Yeah, I've done it. If you go to the website, and this is the easy thing, we've got up on our website the link to it. So go to chelseafancast.com forward slash safe standing and you will be able to fill that survey out and you must do it. You've got until March the 16th, so hurry up. Finally, talking about hurrying up, number one, we've got the CFC UK out, the next issue out. Uh, if you can't get it at the stall uh, on Saturdays or on midweek games, then you can get it digitally by going to... So that's weird. You've got something <laughs> strange there on the screen. Anyway, go to cfcuk.net. We normally have a graphic that goes up with that as well so that you can read it as we see it. But, hey, we don't worry about things like that on this show. Oh, there oh, we go. Lovely. <laughs> OK. Right, finally, before I go into a complete uh, combustion exercise, because I'm going to run out of breath, Aussie, as we said earlier on in the salary and the, and the chance of the match and all of that, eight years ago uh, on Saturday, Ch Chelsea lost its most famous and greatest son, uh, Peter Osgood, the king of Stamford Bridge. I would just like to say on behalf of everybody who loves and listens to the uh, Chelsea fan cast, uh, RIP Aussie, you were one of the best and you are still the king of Stamford Bridge in my eyes. Right, I seriously need to go and have a long lie down after that because I'm absolutely out of puff. But very, very sadly, uh, back to us. That would be nice. Thank you. Lovely. Um, that's all we've got time for this week. I'm very, very sad about that because I, I could do this for another two hours at yes, least. Yeah, it's been very enjoyable. Can we have another days. vote on the website and on Mixer? Shall we do this for another two hours, Chad? Uh, yeah, I'll get on in now. OK, get on it. We could do the Macau debate. We could do the Macau. <laughs> I mean, I know we could talk about so many, so many things, but that sadly is we all we've got time for. The benches for. could sit here they and we could. could sit in the benches. I did think about that earlier yeah, on, yeah, just yeah. to confuse the listener yeah, and the viewer. Yeah. We yeah. discussed it half hour before you turned up two minutes before we get on air. Ooh. <laughs> all right, OK, just before Greg starts <laughs> having any more kids, we've got to go. Um, we will be back next week to report on the full... Uh, no, that was last week. Yeah, the Spurs game, yeah. of course. Oh, yeah, we'll have the, have the Spurs game next week. We've got to have Dan Levine from the Fulham Chronicle on. Yusuf Omari is here. Yusuf is here. Walter Otten might be here. Chadder won't be here. 
Uh, Jonathan might be here. It's going to be quite a good show, so tune in for that. Uh, now, you can email us during the week, uh, chelseafancast at gmail.com. And, of course, there are millions of ways for you to consume this show. Uh, either do it live, uh, as you are now, or you can watch the repeats on sportstonightlive.com every day. You can listen to the podcast on chelseafancast.com. And, in fact, you can watch it live or catch up with the, uh, the playlist and the clips from YouTube on chelseafancast.com, our lovely new website. Uh, download the Sports Tonight app and watch it on your iPhone. Watch on the Chelsea fan cast. So many ways to do it. I've got to go because I've been outstaying my welcome and winding poor old Greg up in the old gallery. We should thank Greg Grimper Grimes for being a lovely, lovely man. We should thank you. Yeah, very big round of applause. We should thank Harry Man for being a legend and a Man United fan. And we should. Oh, I got you going. And Jamal and Bam in the gallery tonight have been brilliant and long suffering with me being rude. But most of all, thank you to you lot out there, to Pablo. Cheers. Darren. Yep. Tom Mulloway. <laughs> well Tom done. Mulloway. He's running on um, Sunday the 9th. B-A-L-S. You've got to go. No, no, no. Jonathan Kidd. Jonathan Kidd. Jonathan Kidd. Brilliant. The bench is brilliant. we got to go. See you next time. Thank you for listening. Up to whatever it is. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up.